The mass shooting last November inside a Central Texas church left 26 people dead. The shooter, Devin Kelly, was convicted by a military court in 2012 for assaulting his wife and her child. Now, seven months after the massacre, the Air Force has released Kelly's confession to that assault. It's a case that should have stopped him from purchasing a gun. Investigator Mario Diaz reveals what Kelly said and the actions taken to make sure military convictions are properly recorded. Thank you. The chilling words of a dead man, a self-recorded confession by Devin Kelly from 2012. Five years later, he was the trigger man in the Sutherland Springs Church Massacre. The breaking news alert. Mass casualty shooting. A man walked in to serve at opening fire. 20 people killed. I made mean, some stupid decisions. Really stupid decisions. The Air Force knew about this confession. It was part of Kelly's court martial at Holloman Air Force Base in New Mexico for assaulting his wife and child. The video emerging after Channel 2 investigates requested Kelly's entire court martial. We asked to see it after discovering Kelly escaped from a mental health facility the military sent him to in 2012. This is not the first mistake, and this is not the last mistake. And Plenty to come, unfortunately. In the video, Kelly makes a reference to his time at the Peak Behavioral Health Sciences facility in Santa Teresa, New Mexico, as well as the personal demons deep within him. Nobody really knew why I was suicidal. Nobody in this world. Kelly made the video hoping to help his former wife, Tessa, regain custody of her young son. Um, I had spotted him across the face several times. During the nearly 22-minute video, he admits to beating his stepson and severely injuring the child. Being a 20-year-old man with no experience with babies and anger issue and, seemed, and lack of self-control, I, I smacked him across his face. The video raises several questions considering not only what was said. You know, it only takes a few seconds um, to lose control but also whether more could have been done after the video was presented to Air Force officials. I think it can be a learning tool. Rick Russo spent 25 years in the military as a judge advocate. He tells Channel 2 Investigates while there may be red flags now, he is not certain if he would have identified them. I'm not so sure that, uh, you know, if I would have been viewing it as at the time as part of a court-martial for basically the striking of, of a stepchild, if I would have picked up on it in the bigger picture. Russo feels the legal fumble that allowed Kelly to purchase a weapon was not the fault of prosecutors, but by the military law enforcement responsible for reporting Kelly's conviction for domestic abuse to the National Instant Criminal Background Check System. This would have disqualified Kelly from buying a gun legally, but that information never made it to the federal database. The shooting at a church in Sutherland Springs near San Antonio left more than 20 people dead and at least 10 others hurt. It happened around 11.30 this morning. The gunman is among the dead. All things will be revealed in the end. I'm just hoping the day, my last day, whenever that is, whatever date that is, I don't know God can forgive me. Kelly's military conviction resulted in a bad conduct discharge, 12 months confinement, and two reductions in rank. Kelly died of a self-inflicted gunshot in Sutherland Springs. Now, in the days following the tragedy, the Air Force implemented corrective measures to improve reporting requirements to law enforcement. Mario Diaz, KPRC, Channel 2 News.